Hi Dixons, I'm Jenny Thompson, Executive Principal. Today I am at the wonderful Dixons Macmillan Academy in Bradford. Kat has just stepped into the role of principal here, so it feels like the ideal place and the ideal moment to share the thinking that underpins our intentional and brave operating model. This is such an exciting academy and Kat is such an exciting leader. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to our channel, like, comment and share using the hashtag Dixon's Open Source. Today's episode builds on the work shared in our Aligned Autonomy and Scaling Agile episodes. Although we understand why some trusts see the benefits of standardization and efficiency, we are convinced that in the longer term, being highly standardized will drive out our best people, stifle innovation and lead us ultimately to stagnate. We intentionally opted for the harder journey of aligned autonomy. Alignment through transparency enables increased autonomy. It enables each of us to be a good citizen in the Dixon's ecosystem. Out of our operating model of aligned autonomy comes the central principle of agility. The laws of Agile really do resonate with us at Dixon's. We just replace customer with student. Think of the law of the customer, the law of the student, an obsession with delivering value to customers as the be all and end all of the organization. The law of the small team, a presumption that all work be carried out by small self-organizing teams working in short cycles and focused on delivering value to our students. The law of the network, a continuing effort to obliterate bureaucracy and top-down hierarchy so that the organization operates as an interacting network of teams, all focused on working together to deliver increasing value to our students. By committing to agility rather than leaning into those old tired myths of slow school leadership, we can transform our ability to be highly responsive, to remove blockages and enable talent to flourish. So Dixon's has adopted an agile light approach, applying the general principles with how all those tools and protocols of the tech world where agile working was incubated. So this first agile principle, operating with a defined mission and sense of urgency. At Dixon's, we have many minds, but one mission, to challenge educational and social disadvantage in the North. Our critical questions have helped to create and over communicate clarity across our trust on why we exist, how we behave, what we do and how we will succeed. We try to be brave and work at pace instead of maybe making decisions when we have 90% of the information, we make it with 70%, especially for those low, con uh, low consequence reversible decisions. You know, the cost of being slow is so much higher than the cost of getting the answer exactly right. We rely on expertise rather than rank. We push power down. And this demands enough humility to defer to the expertise of others. Instead of relying on charismatic leaders who get results by force, we recognise that leadership can come from anyone and is earned, not appointed. Our executive principles are primarily coaches, able to be agile in their approach, neither micromanagement nor abdication management. They can be moved to maximise their impact and respond to need. They are both generalist in their skills, but also highly specialised in their dom domain of expertise and as such, complement one another, working and communicating as a team. They both ensure alignment to our backbone and provide challenge and encouragement to academies to help them fully use their autonomy. It is also worth noting that no matter how much we trust someone, that is never an excuse for not managing them. Knowing how someone is progressing or falling short is far from micromanagement and agile teams are not out of control. Accountability is as much a part of their responsibility as flexibility. So that's second agile principle, self-determination, freedom and responsibility. 
We have a long relationship with self-determination at Dixon's. We understand it is central to job satisfaction and happiness. And we believe that aligned autonomy is the balance between self-determination and consistency. We have jettisoned traditional performance management and appraisal and now focus on continuous feedback to fuel professional growth. It feeds performance in the future rather than evaluating the past. Intrinsic motivation is a key aspect of our culture for students and for staff. So that third Agile principle, from lines and silos to networks and teamwork. We have begun to utilise the true potential of cross-functional, cross-cutting teams. This is allowing us to really explore the principle of agility, bringing together people from different departments at different career stages and with different functional roles. We get the right people in the room to make decisions and prevent blockages. Guided by the principles of aligned autonomy with a culture of support from the executive, superseding a culture of direction, members of a cross-cutting team have the opportunity to engage, question and develop according to what is important in their field of expertise right now. Such has been the high quality of engagement, networking and development that cross-cutting teams have expanded not just across the curriculum, but also into interdisciplinary teams. The agility of cross-cutting teams means the team can be matched astutely to the task. So the next Agile principle. At Dixon's, we keep things simple. We are increasingly careful to avoid initiative overload. We believe in keeping things as simple as possible. There are lots of good things we could do that we don't do in order to focus on making a few really impactful big moves with rigor. And ultimately saying things simply is key to effective communication, but we can only say things simply because we have thought about them deeply. The thinking is complex to ensure the communication is not. At Dixon's, we care about the work done, but we also care about the work not done. What can we take away? What is desirable but not valuable? What is worth not doing? We continue to work hard on this, listening to and acting upon candid, organic feedback. We try to move earlier, faster and more decisively. Our new agile approach to strategy and especially our shift from annual planning to strategy as a journey has certainly helped us to move earlier, faster and more decisively. See our videos on big moves for more on this. Agile is about working smarter rather than working harder. It's not about doing more work in less time. It's about generating more value with less work. Instead of imposing decisions from top down, we encourage real-time decisions across the organisation, decoupled from title or rank. Agile teams know they have the permission space to make most day-to-day -day decisions. Senior leaders still make those big break ones that carry risk. Every member of the executive does not need to cast a vote in order for every member of the executive to get behind a decision. Our levels of professional respect and trust presuppose that a decision taken by domain experts will be coherent and we each have the humility to defer to one another. The sharing of decisions with all is key, not the making of decisions by all. So we accelerate that analytics capabilities. As with our approach to teamwork, our data is focused on removing blockages and enabling decision making. Cloud-based systems allow us to compile and compare data from across the trust in real time. The simplicity of Power BI moves the data conversation from historic trend spotting into predictive future areas of focus. Alongside this, building our virtual data warehouse allows us to increase the scale of our data sets and thereby our data reliability. And finally, domain-specific expertise. An organisation that is always learning is always improving. The Agile model has increasingly helped us dismantle that all too often excused barriers between 
educational and operational sides of trust workings. In our sector, the educationalists have often been perceived as the experts and the associate team's work seen only as service providers. At Dixon's, where our agile teams are cross-functional and enabling, working relationships have to be excellent and free-flowing across the educational and associate skill sets. We benefit from the amalgamation of expertise afforded by sincerely valuing cross-cutting teamwork. Our non-educationalists are absolutely central to the development of education at Dixon's. And scaling Agile in this way will help us to create a truly talent-driven organisation. I hope you have found this video useful. As ever, let us know if we can add any more detail or answer any questions. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I look forward to speaking to you again soon.